So, where are you going to spend your money? What kind of experience are you going to have? Where are you going to go during your vacation? It's really a very intimate decision. Rather than come up with a big sales pitch, I think let's just put our cards on the table, give you the information, and then you will be able to make an informed decision. Fly Point is a peninsula. It was deeded to the Fly family in the 1600s, and now, 300 years later, it still belongs to the Fly family. Butch Smith, a member of the Fly family, runs Fly Point. It's like a big, giant bed and breakfast. The lookout in the distance here is the headquarters, and it includes eight little cottages and maybe, um, maybe space for 100 people or something like that. He does weddings and things like that on the property. To the right of this picture is Blue Hill Bay, and off in the distance you can see Mount Cadillac Island. To the left of this is Herrick's Bay, which is smaller, shallower, much more friendly for sailing and kayaking. Um, Herrick's Bay goes right up into Brooklyn. And then what does all this have to do with us? Well, from this picture, we can see the jib right here. This is the flying jib. It's about 300 yards from the tip of the point. Fly Point is almost like a private country club, and staying at the flying jib, you're really part of, part of that group. So as we walk up toward the, the jib, we can see the lookout here from the other side. The little cabins, it's rural, rural Maine in a huge way. Coming up, we see the swimming pool now on the right. Cross that out, the swimming pool now on the left. These pictures were taken in October, so it's not the prettiest time of the year in, um, in Maine. And on some levels, the, the property is under construction. So this is the picture from the street, you can see the old original 1900 cottage right in front and then around the side of it you can see the addition and then there's a full basement under all this. And then the swimming pool is off on the right. The kitchen I would describe it as a very ordinary, medium-sized kitchen. It's quite new. Um, everything's laid out in a very predictable way. You're looking for the silverware, you'll find it the first time you look. Pans, you'll find them the first time you look. The microwave is very ordinary. It has a nice big refrigerator. There's a cooktop stove. Everything is as predictable and easy as we could make it. You'll find everything you need. There's two full sets of dishes, two full sets of silverware. There's pans and mixing bowls and there's a blender and a skillet and big pans and we hope everything you could possibly ever need and not a lot of stuff that you don't need. There's a very large comfortable deck which includes a new big barbecue grill, and the orange grill is for charcoal. There's a big lobster cooker and two propane tanks. That door actually goes into a bedroom. The painting which needed to be done had not been done in October. However, it will be done by the time you get there in the summer. So this is a bedroom, and then looking off this way is a door to the exterior porch. And then the grill, again, now this is from the other direction. And the lookout is in the background, and behind the lookout is Blue Hill Bay. And this stairway goes down into the pool area. It's a pretty cool layout. 
the cottage was built in 1900, and I think it really needs to be thought of as a summer cottage on the coast of Maine. This is a good picture and a good representation of the inside of the cottage. This is the living room. This is a com I couldn't get the picture I wanted, so this is a composite picture. But um, it, it's it's a little bit it's a it's a cottage on the coast of Maine that was built in 1900, and you walk in. And you immediately know that it's it's not the same as a suburban house at all. So the front door is straight ahead. Immediately to the left of the front door is an office. In this picture, the office is full of my stuff. But when you get there, these spaces will all be empty. There's not really much there but the desk, an internet connection, and a telephone and a light. That filing cabinet will be empty for your stuff. And then um, upstairs, there's three bedrooms. The larger of the two bedrooms, one of the larger bedrooms has two twin beds in it. And then the very smallest bedroom has a queen-size bed in it. And then the third bedroom, which is actually the medium-sized one, I don't have a picture of it, but the third bedroom also has a queen-size bed. So there's two queen-size beds in their own bedrooms, two twin beds, and then there's a bathroom, a full bathroom with, you know, with a shower and the whole thing. It's a full bathroom. When the addition was built, it wasn't, it wasn't quite like that. A foundation was built and that and the cottage was moved onto the new foundation. So the basement is all part of the brand new part. This window looks out into the swimming pool area in October. It looks when you get there it'll be all shined up and the water and the pool of course will have water in it and there'll be swimming swimming pool toys and it'll all be nice and fresh and the landscaping will all be beautiful. In the meantime, this is October. Going into this room, th this room is actually the largest room in the cottage. It's um, not really, it, it has a little bit of an identity problem. It's sort of the game room. And in the meantime, there's a television set there which plays VCRs. So bring some VCRs when you come. Um, it's a big room. There are two inflatable mattresses down here and if you're going to inflate them and use them this is where they would be there are enough blankets for probably i don't know lot, there's plenty of plenty of plenty of blankets and lots of place to sit around if you want to play games or play monopoly or something this might be the place you'd want to do it big, big open space so the upstairs has three bedrooms and a bathroom there is the master bedroom with the master bathroom. There's another bathroom that includes the laundry area, which is off the dining room, a room you, I haven't shown you. Um, there's a garage which has two adult bicycles and two children's bicycles. There's badminton and croquet and everything you'd ever want for a pool, for a pool toy. There's all kinds of room to run around and plants and it's 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 absolutely beautiful there there is a pathway that goes off from this picture it goes off to the right it's fairly obvious from the backyard it goes off to the right down a path over a boardwalk down another path and ends up alongside the Atlantic Boat Company on Herrick's Bay it's really very interesting and even exciting so give this all some thought um, send me an email and if you have any questions and we would be grateful for your business and thank you very much for your time.